What Project Blue is after is looking for planets in the habitable zone of our nearby sun-like star. And we're fortunate that, astronomically speaking, very near to us are two sun-like stars, the Alpha Centauri system. Alpha Centauri is an incredibly special system. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's one of the brightest objects that you would see looking up into the night sky. The stars themselves are a billion times brighter than those pale little dots that are orbiting them. We have matured our technologies to block the light from the star in order to see planets very close to the star. It's the same thing you might do on the tennis court. If you have the ball coming over the court but the sun is in your eyes, and you put your hand up to block out the sun and suddenly you see the tennis ball. However, it is a binary system. The challenge is that now instead of turning off the light from one star, we have to now turn off the light from two stars simultaneously. One of the most clever developments of Project Blue is to figure out a way to suppress the light from both of the stars. The fact that Alpha Centauri is so close to us. We can search the habitable zones around each of these sun-like stars. The chances are very good that we will discover planets in the habitable zones around one of them, or perhaps even both of them. The probability is believed to be in the area of 85%, which is quite high. We have every reason to believe that the planets are there, and now we just have to go take a picture of them. 